Imagine me as your friend with a different viewpoint as you, or maybe the same viewpoint. We're just sitting here talking in a room, and I'm saying, look, this is what I believe. We're currently sitting in the middle of the universe on a ball suspended in a sunbeam just far enough away to be warmed, that plant life can grow and oxygen can happen, and all these things can come into existence so that you can be sitting in front of your computer right now watching this video. So open up my eyes to a new Alright, what's up everybody? This is Connor, your boy, Late Night Talks. Something very important I've been thinking about that I want to let you guys know. I have glasses on, by the way, because I got surgery last week on my eyes. Alright, so a lot of you guys have asked in the comments and DMs, where do I get my energy? How am I always positive? And that is the basis of this video. Another reason why I've been wanting to make this video is because I've always sought after the truth since probably about my junior year in high school. I've been really wanting to know what's the truth, man, why am I here? Am I really here just to make football videos? You guys have seen those. Am I here to travel the world? You guys have seen my videos in Germany and various spots around the world. Is that the reason I live? Am I trying to score a lot of touchdowns? Am I trying to get a lot of followers on YouTube and Instagram? And you guys have probably had similar thoughts where you're just trying to find your worth in something and then you attain that something. You know, like I went to USC and played football and then you're like, oh man, I need something more. And you just keep looking for something that will make you feel satisfied. Does this sound familiar to you? I'm sure it does because you're a human being. This is a very short backstory. I've always looked for the truth and I've been distraught over the fact that I am going to die. If you haven't thought of that, think about it right now. You're living right now, you're eventually gonna die. You will stop living. Is that crazy to think that you will one day not be able to think anymore? You'll be dead. So I was like, what the heck, bro? Could it really be that we live and we die and there's no purpose or meaning to us being here. I thought about it and I did some research, I asked some questions. Long story short, I came to a conclusion, okay? I found the truth. And by the way, this video is so short, it's way too short to explain everything. If you have questions, please comment below and I will address these topics in the coming videos along with all the travel videos that I plan on doing. The only way I can explain the truth is like this. You know the truth by how it feels, okay? And the best example I've been able to come up with that relates to knowing what the truth is, is knowing what love is. Do you guys know what love is? Have you ever felt love? Have you ever known somebody that truly loves you, whether that's a mother, a father, a friend, a grandparent, a teacher, like somebody who really loves you, who's like, Connor, I care for you. And, and the, that feeling that you have, like they have my back no matter what. They will fight and die for me if needed. They will provide for me like that real love, you know? You know the difference between real love and fake love. Where people say, yeah man, like I'm your friend, I love you bro. But like you, it's not reciprocated. You can feel that it's not really there. Like the true feeling of love is, is real. And, and if you've ever felt it, you can, you can know what I'm saying. And this is something that's crazy. There's no molecule for love. You can't put it under a microscope and say, this is love. Um, it exists. In scientific terms, love does not exist. You know, there's no way to prove that love exists. The same as faith and hope and like your passions and your energies and your joys, these things cannot be scientifically proven, but you felt them. You felt pure joy. You felt passion. You felt love. You felt hopeful that something will happen, okay? These things are the good things in life. These things are how I can relate to what truth is and the truth that I have found, okay? So now looping all the way back around to the very point of this video, a lot of you guys have asked me, where do I get my energy? Where do I get my passion? And I can say this, my energy and my passion are not my own, okay? My energy and my passion come from my faith in the truth. They come from my faith in the truth, okay? So what is my faith and what is the truth? Keep in mind, I'm an open-minded person. If you don't agree with what I'm saying, that's totally fine. I would love to hear your comments below. This is just me sharing with you my life because I'm a YouTuber and I feel that it's important that you guys understand where my crazy energy passion comes from. To travel the world, to play multiple sports, to do all these things. It's not just me trying to do all these things. It's for a purpose, okay? And disclaimer, I'm not always energetic and passionate. I'm a human being, okay? And that by default means that I have times where I'm down, where I'm not feeling super, what do you call it? You know how sometimes people give you a word of encouragement or you watch a video or somebody says something and you're like, bro, I'm inspired, I'm gonna do this, 
I'm gonna be the best, blah, blah, blah. And the next day, you slip and fall in front of your whole class and you're like, the world's over. Everybody does that. Everybody, let me tell you, everybody has failed a test. Everybody has got rejected. Everybody has, you know, had problems in relationships and families and all that stuff, okay? So if you have had those things, congratulations, you're a human being. Just like me, I'm not always passionate, I'm not always energetic, but I have something that makes me passionate and energetic to a level and more consistently than most people. I am aware of these. <laughs> I am aware of that. Okay, so this is it. This is it, the moment of truth. The moment of truth for me is this. My passion and my energy comes from my faith as a Christian, okay? And my faith is that there is some life after this life. And that my life has a greater purpose than just right now. So what I'm saying and what I'm doing isn't just for myself right here right now. I believe, I believe as a Christian that God created all of us. He put his love within all of us. The love I was talking about earlier. And that we are here for a purpose to carry out his will. And that Jesus Christ, his son, came down and died for our sins. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's okay. I'm going to explain this in more videos if you guys have questions. And like I said, if you don't have the same beliefs as me, this is life. But all the things I've been talking about, faith, joy, peace, love, you wanting to help people and be in community and do all these things, these things are given by God. That's what I believe. And I've been living this way my entire life and there's energies and passions that I wake up with in the morning. That's the reason I wake up, all right? I get up in the morning and I'm like, dude, I have another day to live. The blood is pumping through my veins. The passions that I have are still there. I'm conscious right now, dude. That's why sometimes I trip out. You see some of my Instagram posts? I, I, that one post I had, like, we're, we're currently sitting in the middle of the universe on a ball suspended in a sunbeam just far enough away to be warmed, that plant life can grow and oxygen can happen, and all these things can come into existence so that you can be sitting in front of your computer right now watching this video. Think about that. Think about everything that has to be happening. As I'm talking to you right now, the blood in your veins is basically giving your body nutrients and oxygen, and if it stopped for even three minutes, you'd be dead. But you have no control over that. Are you currently working? Blood pump, blood pump, brain think. What is Connor saying right now? I'm going crazy just thinking about this video, but this is where my energy and passion comes. That these things cannot have been an accident. I'm gonna end the video here. And I'm glad that I got that out to you guys because I've always wanted to, I've wanted to make this video, but I've wanted to make it too good, I guess. And now I just wanna sit in front of you because you're really just one viewer. Imagine me as your friend with a different viewpoint as you, or maybe the same viewpoint. We're just sitting here talking in a room, and I'm saying, look, this is what I believe. This is what I like. I like the Cowboys. You like the Packers. Like that, okay? And we can learn from each other. We can ask each other questions. So I encourage you guys, please ask questions below. Comment. Yell at me. Um, say that you like me. Say that you hate me. It's okay. That's part of life, and I am open to the fact that this is the truth, okay? That's the truth, you know? That not everybody can agree with what you're saying. Definitely going to make more videos on, like, everything about my life. What I believe, how I work out what I eat, blah, 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 just like some of the thoughts in my brain flowing through this thing. I just think this is a good discussion for you guys to have. Anybody that's a human and plans on dying in the next hundred years, it's important to think about the real facts of life, not just YouTube and homework and all that stuff. New vids coming soon. Thank you guys for the support. Feel free to ask me any questions on any social media platform. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. But remember, I am just a human being like you. I don't have anything that you don't have. You have a brain. You can think, you can do your own research. I'm glad that you allowed me to talk to you today. Thank you for watching. That's it. This is what you do, man. If you wanna film a video, film it. If you wanna try out for a team, try out. If you wanna do something, do it ASAP because you might not be alive tomorrow. It's just facts, truth, peace. If I didn't have my faith, I wouldn't have the same energy. You know, and on a very biological, I guess you would say, level, I eat healthy, I get my rest, that gives me energy, but nothing, nothing like the energy that I get from my faith and my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, 100%. A lot of people have commented, cocaine is a hell of a drug. I've seen that way too many times. And I'm like, dog! I have this energy from my faith and the hype that it gives me and the passion, like this is for a purpose, this is bigger than myself, life is good, life is encouraging, and it's not always good, like I said in the back, I get comments too, like, Oh man, like life isn't good for everybody. Okay, I, I understand that. 
I know I've been blessed. I know I've been given a platform, so I'm going to use it to the best of my abilities. I love traveling and, and, and learning about all your guys' situations and circumstances. Um, and I'm going to continue to do that for the rest of my life. I want to connect the video. I want to connect the video. I want to connect the world through video. Uh, I can explain all my passions and stuff later, but this is just a short, short video. In the cold light I live to love and adore you, it's all that I, it's all that I have. In the cold light I live 